Now that we've looked at how Reason's different sections fit together, let's have a look at how to create devices in the rack. Devices are the heart of Reason's sound generation and processing capabilities, whether they're instruments or effects or audio tracks. There are a few different ways to do this. The first one is to go to the Create menu and simply choose whether you want to create an audio track, an instrument or an effect. And you can see that there are three keyboard shortcuts for that as well. And as you get more familiar with Reason, you'll be able to just zap those in on the keyboard. If you want to specifically create a type of device, you can do that from the drop down menu here. And you can see here you've got your instruments, your effects, and the other category, which covers things like mixers and sequences, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. If you do create any of these devices, they'll be placed into the rack, generally at the bottom after the last device. Now, if you choose to just create an instrument or an effect without specifying what it should be, you're taken to Reason's browser. Now, we'll talk about the browser in more detail a little bit later on. But what's nice about the browser is when you select an instrument, as you can just see we've done there, it loads the instrument in the background, which is really nice because it means it then becomes playable. So we might decide that we do want that or that we don't want that. We want a different kind of bass. So we could just select a different one. And again, we're still in the browser. This is really nice. Pretty good. Uh, what about something a bit different? An upright bass. That's pretty good. So what's happened there is it's loaded the instrument in the background for us and we we're able to play it from our MIDI keyboard. But we don't have to load something, go back into the main project, decide if we like it. And if we don't, then come back and delete it and have to choose a new one. You can do it all straight from the browser, which is really nice. There's another way to load instruments, and that's using the tool window, which we talked about a little bit in the last video. Tool window is pretty cool. It has shortcuts here to create audio tracks or instruments. In this list underneath, you can filter it to show different types of devices. So for example, if you only ever want to drop instruments in, you can deactivate the other types of device to just see the instruments, or you could just show effects, for example. Let's say we wanted to drag a subtractor in. You could just do that by picking it up and dragging it into the rack. Reason has actually a double pillared rack. So if you drag something over to the right, you'll see that you get the option to drag things not only in a big long list, but also on left and right, which makes things a little bit easier to manage. You can still go up and down the rack, of course. If you hold the shift key on your keyboard and then use your mouse wheel, you can move left and right. That's a really handy thing to know about when your rack starts getting big. If you click on this button here, you see it will automatically bring this side of the rack into view. There's yet another way to load devices and that's just to simply right click in an empty area in the rack and this just replicates the same options that you get from the create menu at the top it's just a little bit quicker slightly more intuitive way if you like to use this kind of right clicking contextual menu to load things up so that's how you create devices in reason but what about controlling the playback of a project well that is done using the transport panel and that's what we're going to look at in the next video